now i will discuss about the template inheritance this is very important because when you will start working to make a web application you will have to use this system for example i am going to show you you will understand for example here there is a views file right i am working with i am going to create a new folder here for example i am going to work with the admin so now i remember that in the admin folder i will create a layout that is the main layout of the application so i am going to create a view file here that is app.blade.php so this is actually the main blade file that will run fast and into this blade file i will define many parameters so how i will do that i am going to call here this is for example the main layout and here i am going to call here home into the admin there is a home also so here i am going to call home.blade.php for example the in the app.blade.php this is the main html layout here is the title and here i am going to tell that admin panel for example something like this there is for example a top bar so here i am going to call the top bar section there is for example another section or here i can use the div okay so like this this is uh, i am going to define a class here div class equal to top so this is a class another one for example here i am going to use this is sidebar so sidebar this is sidebar and then for example the main content of the home page for example main content and this is the home page content so here i can call something like this home page content and then there is a footer in the bottom this is footer this is just a sample layout a sample layout and this is the app.blade.php so what i can do if i straight call app.blade.php from here then what is going to be happen let's check it so i am going to run it app not found because the app is, uh, app is into the admin folder so here i will have to call admin.app that's good i'm going to refresh you see that this is actually the main website content right and in this space there is a title also just remember it now what i am going to do i will use this layout for all the pages for example here are other pages about dot blade dot php for example settings settings dot blade dot php in this way many pages can be here i will not write the same code for all the pages that means i will not write all the html chart uh, html structure for the home page about page the same code i will not write multiple times so i just write this complete layout only one time into the app.blade.php file now in the home page what actually i will do in the home page i will need this layout right so here there is a blade directive that is extends i can just call extends and in the extends i will have to call the app.blade.php so what is the location of the app.blade.php into the admin folder so i will call admin.app now instead of calling the app i am calling the home for the home route and i am going to create another two routes one is for example about and another one is for example settings so here i am going to call the settings blade and here i am going to call the about blade and this is the home blade you see that now i call the home blade that means it will be called so this page will be called means 
it will extend the admin dot app that means this one it will extend and call it here that means the full layout will work so if you refresh you see that this is showing the same thing if i call the about now you see that this is empty because i did not put anything in the about about will call the same layout also so i am going to extend the app in the about also so if i refresh now in the about you see that the same thing is coming in the settings i am going to call the extends admin dot app the same thing so here refresh settings you see that the same content is here but now i will need to make the content dynamic because home page about page settings page all the content must not be the same so where it will actually be changed the top bar section you see that it will actually be same for the all pages the sidebar will be same for the all pages the main content you will be changed in this location right so from here to here this thing will be changed footer will also be same for all the pages so this thing i need to make dynamic you see that here is a heading here can be many other things this is home page okay and here the heading is for example the home page it can be happened so these two lines for example here this data i will not write here what i will do i will write here after extending here so when you will extend this full layout is called then you will have to tell what content i will pass from here to here so here i will have to create section there is a section and there is a end section in section you can create as many section as you want here section means here in the parameter i will have to call a name for example main you can give any name here i give here they call main what name you will give here you will have to call here another one that is yield and here you will have to call sorry call main here what does this mean so in this section i call that this complete section will hold the codes here and take it into a variable main and that it will pass here that means what is happening the home.blade.php is calling the main layout using the extends and then into the extends uh, into this place it will pass this code using the main variable and in the app it it is receiving it using the yield and the parameter will be the same name that is main now if i refresh and if i open the another tab this is the home page you see that the home page text is coming here without any problem so this thing will be changed for all other pages for example in the about page i will call the same thing using the main but this content will be changed i will change this about page and this is about page content okay the settings page i am going to copy this code and here it will be the same code it will be settings space and this is setting space content so if i now refresh the home page you see that this is home page if i go to the setting space refresh you see that this is a setting space and the same thing will be happened in the case of about so here i am going to about you see that this is about page so this is home page this is about page and this is setting space so which contents are actually going to be changed this is time that is this content here this content and here this content and where it is coming from using the section here so in this way you can easily use the template or you can easily create the template for your application and use this i hope you have understood the main logic here